and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Around Town for the City of San Bruno. I'm your host, Stephanie Tevis, and if you stick around for the next few minutes, you will learn what the city has in store for you for the month of July, 2016. You may have heard a lot about private sewer laterals in the past year. A sewer lateral is the pipe that connects your home to the sewer main, which in turn takes the sewage down to the treatment plant in South San Francisco. Most houses in San Bruno were built prior to 1950. That's over 60 years ago. If the house is over 60 years old, chances are the sewer lateral is that old too. Sewer laterals can be expensive to fix if they fail. You may have received a letter that was sent out to every household last month from Service Line Warranties of America. The city approved this to give its citizens an opportunity to address the high cost that may result from the failure of a private sewer lateral. What Service Line Warranties of America is offering is a warranty plan that covers your private sewer lateral. While there are other companies that also offer sewer lateral warranties, city staff has done the research. This company has an a rating with the Better Business Bureau. If you would like more information on their program, go to the Service Line Warranties of America website or call them at 866-922-9006. Brochures with their frequently asked questions are available for you at City Hall and on the company's website. There is also more information on San Bruno City website at www.sanbruno.ca.gov. Are you looking to brush up on your driving skills? Sign up for the AARP Driver Safety Course at the Senior Center. This two-day course only costs $15 for AARP members and $20 for non-members. You must attend both days, Thursday, July 14th and Friday, July 15th, and you must pre-register. Both classes begin at 8.30 a.m. and end at 12.30 p.m. Keep your driving skills sharp by taking the AARP Driver Safety Program at the Senior Center. And be sure to check with your car insurance company. You may qualify for a discount by taking this class. Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! Once again, your friend and entertainer, Manny Catania, will perform Elvis, Manny's Way, on Saturday, July 16th. The singing will begin at 7 p.m. with dancing to follow. Join Manny and friends for Elvis, Manny's Way, on Saturday, July 16th, only at the San Bruno Senior Center. If you love to read and you like talking about the books that you love, join the Escape Artist Book Club. This monthly group meets on the first Monday of each month at 10.30 in the morning at the Senior Center's Library. We are currently reading Our Souls at Night by Kent Harp. In July, the group will meet on Monday, July 11th, as the first Monday is July 4th. If you are a book lover who is 50 plus, come join the Escape Artist Book Club, the group who escapes from reality with a good book. Did you know that the San Bruno Police Department is on the city webpage, Facebook, SMC Alert, and Nextdoor? The men and women of the San Bruno Police Department take pride in what they do, and they utilize all of these social media platforms to share information with the public. SMC Alert and Nextdoor are somewhat similar in that important information can be shared with the entire city or specific neighborhoods within the city of San Bruno. Sometimes these social media platforms will have the same information displayed, but often they won't. And if you are interested in interacting on the department's Facebook page, please read the About section for conditions of use. The members of the police department want you to know that social media platforms are not an effective way to report crime or traffic issues to the police department. A better way is to call the police department directly or by utilizing the city's webpage. Go to www.sanbruno.ca.gov. At the bottom of the page, click on the Police Department button to go to their page. On the left-hand side of the page, hover the cursor over Online Services, then click on the form that is right for what you would like to report. Most importantly, if you see an active crime or something suspicious, please immediately call 911 to report it. Working together in a partnership solves crime. Now that school is out, what are the kids going to do all summer? How about spend the afternoons at the playground? At the Bel Air Firehouse at Lions Field, recreation staff will be on hand to supervise activities Mondays through Fridays from 1 until 4 p.m. There will be arts and crafts, sports, special events, and game playing. 
Participants must be San Bruno residents and must have a health history form on file at the site to participate. And you can find a copy of the health history form in your summer recreation guidebook on page 46. Oh, did I mention that there is absolutely no cost to join this program? The free summer afternoon playground program at the Bel Air Firehouse at Lions Field starts June 20th and continues through July 22nd. Come join the fun! Join us for our 5th annual Kids Triathlon. On Saturday, July 16th, bring your swimsuit, bike, and sneakers and enjoy a day of races in San Bruno City Park. Kids ages 5 to 15 can participate. The cost is only $18 and all participants receive a t-shirt too. Please pre-register as no registration will be taken the day of the event. The 5th Annual Kids Triathlon on Saturday, July 16th. Let's see how fast you really are. Beep, beep. I know it is still July, but get ready for two whole months of Friday evening summer concerts at the Rotary Pavilion starting August 5th. Stay tuned. The library has all sorts of activities and programs scheduled this month. On Monday, July 18th, come to the Downstairs Community Room at 6.30 p.m. for masks and movement. On Monday, August 1st, the Lizard Lady will join us with some of her cold-blooded friends. Learn about snakes and reptiles with the Lizard Lady. On Thursday, July 7th, celebrate the Tanabata Festival, the festival of stars that is celebrated on July 7th. Listen to stories and make paper crafts starting at 3 p.m. On Thursday, July 14th, Come create your own amazing hanging stars at this crafts workshop. And on Thursday, July 21st, learn about zoetropes, the earliest motion pictures, and make your own. Then on Thursday, July 28th, bring your wits and determination and your creativity for the board game mania and make your own button workshop. And on Wednesday, July 27th, the library will be hosting the science fair and ice cream social. From 2 until 4 p.m., join in on the hands-on science activities presented by the library in conjunction with the Marine Science Institute. Ice cream will be served at 3 p.m. All of the Thursday afternoon activities and Monday evening programs are free to the public and are first come, first serve. Be sure to come early as once the community room is at capacity, the doors will be closed. If you or someone you know finds it intimidating to read out loud, come to Paws for Tales on July 8th starting at 3.30 in the afternoon. Gentle dogs and their handlers will be at the library waiting for kids to read to them. Studies have shown that children find it easier to read to a dog than to people, so this is a great way to help them overcome their reading shyness. Come to the library's Paws for Tales on July 8th at 3.30 p.m. Do you have a room to rent in your home? Do you want to save money on housing? Join us for a presentation by HIP Housing to learn more about a free home sharing program in San Mateo County. Come to the Downstairs Community Room on Tuesday, July 19th at 6.30 p.m. for the HIP Housing Workshop. If you can't make the workshop or you have questions about the program, contact Ali Sobsack at HIP Housing at 781-3934 or call the library at 616-7078. Although safe and sane fireworks are legal to purchase and use within San Bruno City limits, sticking to the rules will help keep you and your family safe. Only use safe and sane fireworks. Fireworks can only be used from Tuesday, June 28th through Sunday, July 3rd from noon until 10 p.m. and on Monday, July 4th from noon until midnight. There must be adult supervision for people 14 years old and younger. Fireworks must be used on your own private property, not in parks, public parking lots, school grounds, vacant lots, or in the street in front of your house. Keep a minimum of 10 feet away from your house, garage, or other structure when using fireworks. Keep in mind that there are stiff fines for breaking the law when it comes to using fireworks. Extra police will be patrolling to enforce the law. Enjoy the 4th of July and keep safe. It has been my pleasure to bring you what's happening around town for July 2016. I'm Stephanie Tevis. See you next time.